Ladies and gentlemen, Keith from My Repair Autos. Today I'm going to be doing a brake light on a Mercedes SLK 230 compressor. These things are a pain to remove to change out the bulb. So I'm going to show you what caused that. Sometimes it's not the bulb, sometimes it's the little connection point. So let's get to it. Hey, but before we get started, I know you've been meaning to subscribe and by doing so, and sharing and thumbsing up the video. You push it up in the search engine's results for YouTube, which makes it easier to find for other Mercedes users and they can benefit from it too. So do that now. Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks. Let's start by opening the trunk. And I've never seen Mercedes use a regular five-pointed. As soon as I say that, I know people are going to tell me. Very rare that they use a five-pointed, um, five-hexed thing. It's usually a star. So I'm going to take this star that I have that's still the same size. Um, that's a Torx 25. So at the side that I'm going after, the brake light is on the left side. I'm not going to remove this. Some people will say, hey, remove it. I'm not going to remove that. I'm going to show you how to take this off, trunk stop. Once that's off, then we're going to continue by popping off this side cover here. That's one. That's two. Oh, I'm going to pop this out. I kind of already did already. Started moving it. So now what I've done, I've loosened up this section here. And that looks like it's been broken, but I didn't do that, people. Just bear that in mind. And uh, what we want to do is we're trying to get access to this section right here because the bulb lives right in this section right here so to access that you got to come through right here so what I like to do when I'm dealing with plastic is never to remove everything just as much as we need to so what we're gonna do now and I want you to see this is see the bulb right there and I've already put my hand in there. Once I put my hand in there, you can't have two things in there at the same time, the camera. We're gonna remove this black one right there. This guy right here that I wanna touch, we're gonna to take that out. You twist it and then take it out. So. Now we're gonna examine the bulb. The filament on the bulb looks good. But look at the burnt out section, contact point. Contact point is burnt out right there. So, off to the parts store we go to get a replacement. These are known to burn out. So let's get that part. Part will be in the description, as always. And I'll be right back. So ladies and gentlemen, burnt out part, new part, genuine Mercedes, got the Mercedes bill right there, replacement part. The blue is compatible with the black for tail lights. And when I say tail lights, when it comes to the brake light, okay, let me flip this over so that you can see it's the same exact part internally on all that good stuff. Now looking inside there, zoom out, looking inside there, see that silver grayish one? They're various colors. They're orange ones as well. But for this car, for this make, for this model, blue is compatible with black. It's the replacement part. And uh, the replacement bulb is a 7506 bulb. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in push it down and twist it and uh, putting this in just got to make sure that each notch on each side goes back in properly and you turn it clockwise to get it back into position I'm gonna turn it now when you're pushing it back into place it's important that you seat it right. If you don't seat it right, then the contacts will burn out again. And that's not what you want.
All right. So there it is, seated. You know it's perfectly seated because it's flat, the notches are in. And then, before we put everything back together, we're gonna test that brake light. I'm gonna go test it. Put this pin back in. Here. Then I'm going to put back the stop. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you do the brake light bulb replacement on your Mercedes SLK 230. Kind of a hard job, scratched up my hand whatnot but it's done thanks for watching peace as always everyone don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel if you find these videos helpful what that does it pushes my videos up in the search results so that other mercedes owners drivers do-it-yourselfers can find them easier thanks and peace out